What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. With this video, we're going to be jumping into Green Lantern issue number 10. Now, issue number 9 was a huge revelation. What we had learned is that Green Lanterns of Earth, they all now have their own central battery. A central battery hidden away on Earth by the Guardians just in case having a ring for every member of Sector 2814 and the capability to make more lantern rings at a further time. But Hal took his new ring, now capable of making it out of Earth's atmosphere. He heads to Oa. He heads to find out what the heck has been going on. And on Oa, he runs into Lantern Joe. Be sure to stay all the way to the end because we got a tie-in story for House of Brainiac, including Green Lantern Guy Gardner hunting down Lobo. Make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we pick up on Planet Oa, headquarters of the United Planets Lantern Corps. Joe is sneaking around this place with Hal Jordan, letting Hal know that you can't use your ring. They have what they call ring hunters that would show up almost immediately. These ring hunters, they are individuals wearing Green Lantern rings, but also magic users. If anyone uses the source power, they can pinpoint where and send troops to them. So Joe and the others have been lying low. They have been staying under the radar. They go deep down into the city. And this is where the Resistance Corps base is. This is the new home of the old Green Lantern Corps. And in the shadows, we have Kyle Rayner. But man, is Kyle a mess right now. Rushing into Hal's arms. Letting him know that the emotional spectrum is wild. It is uncontained. It has put him into an almost sense of panic. But he lets Kyle know that he's going to take care of it. That that is why he is here and they are going to find a way to fix this. Joe begins to break down that all of this happened after he left the Green Lantern Corps. All the veteran rings. They were returning. It appeared that someone was killing off the old guard. With her making her way secretly back to Oa. Along the way she saw these new lanterns in the field. No training, no discipline, all cruelty. But they could also change their emotional spectrum color. These guys seem to be everywhere. And even Hal has encountered some of these as well. And then they reveal that the United Planets is the one behind all of this. That they are a part of it. That the Lord Premier, he is the head of all of this. She tells him that someone they trust was ordered to destroy the central battery, the Yellow Lantern central battery. The Lord Premier is the one that gave this order, but they were able to prevent it. They think he's going to go after it again. This is where we pick up later where we see the Source Lantern created by Jon Stewart. This is what powers all of the United Planet Lantern Rings. At this point, it powers the entire United Planets, but the Lord Premier and his Ring Hunter have been running experiments trying to access the power within the Source Lantern. This is when Hal Jordan sees Jessica Cruz. This is when he learns that she is a double agent. But before that, this is where we see them try an experiment, sending one of these individuals wielding a Red Lantern ring, charging full speed at the Source Lantern only to be vanquished. Now, while all of this is going up in the shadows, we have the arrival of Simon. Baz has returned. He has come to let Joe know that he found her. This is what takes us to the Owen science cells. Deep down in these cells at the very bottom, this is where she is being held. Now Simon had been in one of these pods before Joe busted him out. As Hal looks around, what he sees is Larflees. Joe going on to say that he almost single-handedly destroyed the United Planet Lanterns, all when they went after the battery. Unfortunately, he was not able to win. What we're learning is the United Planet, they're really just handing out rings. Untrained they may be, but you keep handing out rings, you're gonna win by sheer numbers on most encounters. But at the very bottom of all of these cells, that is where we have Kelly, our young lantern. 
Now, her lantern powers were very unique. She seemed to be able to just simply manifest them. No one truly understood, not even the Guardians. They had been running their own little experiments with her prior to the destruction of the central battery on Oa and the death of the Guardians. But with new management, they have come in and they have taken over these experiments, but they're doing so by force. And of course, Hal Jordan cannot stop himself. No matter how much the others are trying to let him know that he doesn't understand the situation, he doesn't understand what he's going to get himself into, Hal charges in. He does not hesitate. He jumps full force into this fight. Knowing that the Ring Hunters will be here soon, Joe and Simon jump in as well. Simon grabbing Kelly and Joe serving as a distraction with Hal against the Ring Hunters. But as things begin to go sideways, Simon getting hit in the back. Their lantern rings are no longer working. Only Hal's ring works. This is when she sees it, when Joe sees that Hal Jordan's ring is still working while theirs is not. This could be the key to them winning this battle, to winning these fights, the overall war against the United Planets. While the enemy was able to get hold of Kelly, Hal Jordan is able to hold off the ring hunters so that Simon, Joe, and him can all escape. As they go and make their getaway, this is where they run by a cell, and inside this cell is Razor. Hal Jordan breaking him free, and Simon grabbing one of the United Planet Lanterns that is unconscious, throwing him over the shoulder and getting out of here. With their escape, we pick up with Jessica Cruz and the Lord Premier. He is demanding that they be found. He is telling her to go to the Unseeing. Tell them to use whatever magic is necessary to find who did this. The Unseeing. The three individuals that are magic users wearing lantern rings. The ones keeping the magical barrier up around 2814. He is going to use these guys to find out where the Resistance is hiding. This is what picks us up with the Resistance. Joe is furious with Hal Jordan, but Hal isn't apologizing. He had to try. Joe goes on to explain how Hal hasn't been here. He hasn't been thinking about all the angles. The Lord Premier is formidable, but they need to get more information and then go to the Council. Only if they can get past these lanterns. With the ring that Hal is wearing, they have a chance because this isn't powered by the source. And so as Hal Jordan and the others go to get information out of the United Planet Lantern that they have, we see Jessica Cruz going into the Chamber of the Unseeing. They let Jessica Cruz know that they have been waiting for her. Her request was foretold, and they have answers. The three have found the resistance. Now this is what takes us to our story with Guy Gardner. Guy Gardner finding himself in a bar. He has been searching high and low for Lobo, and he has had no luck in finding him. But when he hears on a radio that there's going to be some kind of wrestling match, they hear the main man being welcomed in. And so Guy Gardner has to go investigate and find out exactly what's going on. This is what takes him to a planet three days later sitting on a skyscraper, simply waiting for the arrival of this intergalactic wrestling match. Now, if that sounds familiar to you, you've probably been reading the Flash comics. In the Flash comics, we got to see a match with an intergalactic and interstellar wrestling federation. And we're about to see yet another one. This is where we have coming in, teleporting in, Omega Bam Man. Now, a friend of the Flash, and a wrestling sensation. For those that don't know, this inter intergalactic wrestling federation, they only wrestle on planets that are about to have some kind of catastrophic failure and an apocalypse of sorts. A meteor coming in, a volcano erupting, whatever it may be. And so they come in and they wrestle. Or, they wrestle on a planet, and then they have their crew come in and fix the place like brand new, immediately afterwards. If you're interested in finding out about this, I highly recommend that you go check out the Flash comics talking about all of this in dealing with Omega Bam Man. But as the wrestling match goes on, Guy Gardner shows up, he does his whole I'm with the United Planets, I'm a lantern, blah 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 blah. Because he sees this guy that is referred to as the main man. He puts him in cuffs and Omega Bam Man, he goes to say something, but then he gets punched right into the atmosphere. 
a cheap shot, but the also other wrestler finally got him with the Nova Punch. With all of this going sideways, the Federation starts to teleport them out of there. All of them except for Guy and the main man. Ripping off the mask, this does look like Lobo, but he claims not to be Lobo. And he tells Guy that by taking me off that ship, you just put both of us in a world of hurt. As he goes to take off as the planet is destroyed, dragging him through space, this is when Lobo whistled. And with that whistle, we have the arrival of Space Dolphins. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All in all, not a bad issue. When it comes to Hal Jordan and everything else going on, I am excited to finally see all of this come to fruition. We know that the Lord Premier has been working in the background for a long time. Now we fully understand how they're doing this. They're making new lanterns using the Source Lantern, but they don't have the full access to its power. The Lord Premier is trying to get that access. Not only this, it appears that they have the power to just shut off rings. All except the ones that are not connected to the Source Lantern, like the one that Hal Jordan carries. Which means more than likely, someone's gonna go back, get those other rings, and give it to the Lanterns of uh, Sector 2814. This way they can fight back. All this story has been absolutely fun, fantastic. My only complaint, I wish Jon Stewart was a part of this story. Now, he's got his own stuff going on that's on a whole other level itself. But considering Jon Stewart is the one that recreated the Green Lantern Corps, he created the Source Lantern. You would think that he would be an intricate part of this story, but I'm not hating that Hal Jordan has the spotlight in this comic at least. Not only that, but we're seeing a bunch of the other Lanterns finally resurface after everything that went down. And then Guy Garner hunting down Lobo, part of the House of Brainiac storyline, the event that's going on right now in the Superman action comics. It's a lot of fun. Guy Garner and Lobo's banter, their dialogue bouncing off one another, absolutely fantastic. Not only that, but, you know, bringing in the Wrestling Federation. I'm a big fan of uh, Omega Bandman. I think he's super awesome, almost like a macho man. And so it's just fun story to read. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you want to get caught up on everything that has been going on with the Green Lantern Corps, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you caught up on everything that is going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers. From $1 to $50. From loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. If you're unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.